Hello friends, how are you doing? Today we will speak about how to apply for visa for China step by step. In this video, we will be explaining the visa policy of this country, how to fill the application form, how and where to apply for the visa, all travel rules due to COVID-19, all the required documents that you will need while applying, and in the end, we'll ask you a question that we will discuss together in the comments. So make sure you watch this video till the end. But before we start, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and if you have any inquiry or question, please write it down there in the comment section below. If we will look together at the visa policy map of China, we will find that almost all the countries all over the world need visa before traveling to China. But also there are some countries that can have visa-free access to China, like Armenia, 90 days, Mauritius, 60 days, United Arab Emirates, Qatar, Serbia, 30 days, Brunei, Japan, Singapore, 15 days. For the rest of the world, you will need to apply for visa before traveling to China. The official site for applying for visa for China is visaforchina.org. And let's check this site together. Actually, in the beginning, you have to select your continent. If you are from Asia, Africa, America, Europe, or Oceania. So you will have just to choose your country according to your location if i choose africa we have egypt and they are also adding cities like cairo alexandria if i choose kenya i have nairobi if i choose uh, nigeria i have abuja lagos if i have south africa if i have asia for example and i'm up, i am applying from india or pakistan so we have also both of them even the cities islamabad karachi new delhi so let's assume that i am applying from india from new delhi and let's click new delhi and we have to agree that the process is almost the same for all the countries once we open this site we have here two things step-by-step -step guidance that can explain everything in details and the quick access that we most frequently use to start our application form online so let's click visa and once this page open in front of you you will have these parts the first thing china visa applicant uh, if you're applying for new application form or managing an application that is not submitted yet or to manage an appointment so let's click new application form and here there are some regulations that you'll have to read if you want and of course you'll have to agree let's click agree and once you agree, you start your application process to fill your application form. Okay, so let's start filling the application form together, starting by the name. Okay, the given name. Okay, and also if there is any former name, please add it. Add your name in your native alphabet also. And here you will have to upload your photo. Click upload photo. And here you'll have to choose a picture and let's choose this one okay and now let's fit the picture here to the profile and after that click finish okay now it's loading uh, uh, okay and in the end they will give you photo qualified if there is any problem they will tell you photo is not qualified you need to add another picture and they will give you what you need to do and now you will have to give your birthday let's say okay this date this month this day gender male uh bell place of birth we choose india so let's stick to india uh, province state let's say delhi okay city delhi and marital status single nationality and permanent residence india okay nationality id number you can just choose not applicable but it is preferred to up fill every single part in the application do you have any other nationalities no do you have permanent residence of any other country or region no have you ever held any other nationalities no and passport for passport uh, ordinary passport choose your passport type 
passport travel document number just write the number let's say this number issuing country india okay for the place delhi and issuing authority india India and issuing date for the date will be will be whatever date it is let's say that date and okay for example and let's say this is the expiry date and okay for example lost stolen passport travel document I will say no okay then you can save and complete and continue later and you have to also to save your application number or you can proceed to section two let's proceed to section two okay proceeding to section two loading 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 okay application information type of visa i want l visa for tourism okay independent tourist or group member so i will say independent visa details uh, validity of the visa let's say i want three months visa a uh, maximum duration of long stay okay 60 days entries i would like it to be okay single a uh, service i would like it to be normal and then proceed to section three okay current occupation i will say like okay there is there is anything for okay entertainer governmental office uh, company employee okay annual income okay let's say this number in usd for example work experience list in reverse okay work experience i work it okay from that date to that date they require many many informations so please try to fill all the details it is beneficial for you uh, then proceed to section four okay this field is required okay zero zero nine one zero 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 okay proceed to section okay name of your of supervisor this name and telephone of supervisor zero zero nine one zero one zero one zero one zero one okay proceed to section four and in section four we'll speak about okay language skills uh okay for english we're speaking about english of course so let's say this is the number of my language skills okay it's like ilus but uh you can also say like uh, native if you are a native language speaker uh, okay higher education degree if you have in higher education please add it it's really important they like to know more about the person who's traveling to their land so yeah give details it is very good to give details and okay name of the institution city okay let's say Delhi keep it Delhi diploma degree let's say uh graduate okay measure this is a measure of your studies proceed to section five okay country of residence we are agreed it is all about india province state delhi city delhi okay postal code let's say that postal code street number okay phone number zero zero nine two zero two zero two zero two zero two email address okay this email address family members uh, if there is anything that you don't have any enough information about you can just choose not applicable uh, here okay and not applicable here but as we said it's really important to fill all uh, the details do you have any immediate relatives not including parents in china no okay cell phone and you have also to give some informations here okay please specify 
and for the f cell phone okay zero zero nine two zero three zero three zero three zero three okay move to section six i just like to show you all the sections uh so you become fam uh, familiar itinerary so here is about your travel information you i'm going to travel at, in, in that year uh, that month uh, that day number of arrival flight train ship okay i'm going by flight this is my the number uh, the number of arrival train flight okay city of arrival i'm going to uh beijing where is Beijing? Beijing, okay. Destinations, okay. City, country, address, date of arrival, date of departure, okay. Destination, Beijing. Destination, country, like, okay. Jingxiaxian address destination okay date of arrival okay date of departure okay let's see also four nine okay okay intended you can add another destination intended date of uh, departure this is my intended date of departure let's say yeah okay number of the barsher train ship flight okay city of departure let's say also beijing inviting person or organization in uh china so if it's not applicable no one is inviting you you are not visiting any organization just click not applicable and uh, contact uh, emergency contact family name let's say not applicable okay okay family name or given name okay it's just give given name relation to you phone number of that person one one email address country of region india province state delhi city delhi postal code that postal code who will pay for this travel i will pay by myself okay domestic or foreign sponsor no i have no sponsor there so yeah let's say are you traveling with someone else i'll say no i'm traveling on my own let's proceed to section nine okay country of arrival let's say this place country of departure and as you can see the number of departure train ship flight it is not really uh, obligatory to fill it in case if you don't know it so you don't have to fill it proceed to section seven because maybe you're applying but you still don't have your booking details your flight details previous travel to china in the past three years no previous chinese visa no valid other countries visa no countries visited in the past five years no proceed to section eight other information have you ever been refused a visa for china no has your chinese visa ever been cancelled no have you ever entered china illegally overstayed or worked illegally no do you have any criminal record in china or in other country no do you have any serious mental disorder no have you ever visited countries or territories where there is an epidemic in the last 30 days no have you ever been trained to do or do you have any special skills in the field of uh firearms explosives nuclear devices no have you ever served served in the military no have you uh served or participated in any um paramilitary organization no have you belonged to contribute to or worked for any professional social or, or no 
Is there is anything you want to declare? No. Okay, in the end, mailing information. Do you choose to send your passport to the visa center? Okay, no, I will send it. How are you going to collect your passport? By visiting the visa center, because this means that I have to go to the visa center by myself and to submit my passport along with my papers. Proceed to section 10. Now we will have to declare a review. Now you can edit every section if you want. See all the details, all the data, all the things that you have filled. Uh, see all of it, all of it, all of it, all of it. And in the end, declaration, are you applying for this visa for yourself or assisting another applicant? Okay, personal application. And here you have to hurry by, like to, to see the declaration, agree on the declaration, submit the application form, and we'll ask you to confirm or cancel, confirm. Okay, application form finished. Okay, please take down the application form number below. When making appointment and reviewing, you will need the application number. You will have access to downloading the application form after reading this page and clicking the button. Okay. Oh, I have studied and been aware. Okay. So now we need our application number. Let's copy it. Save it somewhere. Let's save it here. Okay, it's safe now. And now you can download the form. Mm -hmm. And there is something here that you can export the form data. So in case uh, later you like just will have to upload this data back to the website you don't have to fill all these details again like your data is completely saved and this is the application form you will have to print this application form because you will be taking this application form with you while applying for the chinese visa so once your application form is filled downloaded so it is time to make an appointment you have to click here to make an appointment we clicked okay confirm okay please keep in mind the application number otherwise the information will not be returned okay i will keep in mind the application number okay the location okay let's check again uh for location of submission new delhi my name my given name my phone number my email this is my application application number okay i have it here okay yeah. and click add confirm okay and appointment date here you can choose the date available if you look here also in this section office hours and location they will give you the exact location of the visa application center in um, new delhi or whatever your country is it will give you the normal times you give you the contact number uh, the phone number and they will give you also like the holidays here and like all the schedules all the informations uh, and the office hours from monday to friday as uh, a normal cases express cases and also um with a week end time so this will be also helpful for you to reach the center as the address is exactly mentioned here so there are also some restrictions uh, due to covid 19 of course so all the travelers must present two negative tests pcr and anti body tests taking within uh, 48 hours before uh, traveling and also for the newly qualified uh, entrance entry depends on having received two doses two doses of COVID-19 vaccin uh, vaccination uh, at least 14 days per year the entry and also 
you must also um, okay anyway you will have to apply for visa in advance but also uh, upon arrival you will show your proof of vaccination and also the negative tests of the PCR and uh, the antibodies but in case in the airport uh, because they will they will make a screening for you in the airport and if you fail this check you will be taken to a government facility where you will have to be quarantined and it might demand you 14 days sometimes 21 days of uh, quarantine so you will have to take all this information in uh, to consideration like PCR test antibody test uh, and also you should also prepare your vaccination certificate if you uh, have it and you will use it actually while applying for the visa and you have to take into consideration that if you fail the screening test you will be sentenced to quarantine for 14 days and sometimes 21 days so what are the travel documents that you need to prepare before applying for the visa speaking about your passport your passport must be original and it must not be older than 10 years with at least six months of remaining validity and with at least two blank visa pages for the stamps in many cases you will need also a passport photocopy it might be one copy or more than one and it's preferred to be colored and both data page and photo page must be shown if separated in some cases you might be required to photocopy every single page of your passport but in general only the data page and the photo page are the needed ones speaking about the personal pictures you will need at least two personal pictures sometimes only one is needed other times three pictures are needed but in general they are only two they must be new not older than six months it should be clear and show your full face and it is preferred to be with white background and you should give normal and neutral expressions no head or face covering is acceptable except for religious reasons speaking about the visa application form in general general cases you need only one copy of the visa application form but sometimes you might be required to submit two copies or even three visa forms are different from a country to another in general cases you should print it and fill it manually but many countries now are providing their application form in an online platform so you can fill the application form online and after that you can print it and sign it anyway for the application form you just fill it as we do in the video in most of the visa application processes you will be required to provide a proof of status for example if you are an employee you will have to provide a letter from your employer or from your HR department mentioning your name your work detail and your salary and both address and contact numbers should be mentioned also in that letter and all letters must have an original signature and a stamp but in case you are the owner of the company or you run your own business then your commercial registry and your tax card must be presented but if you are a student in a school or a college an enrollment letter should be provided from your university or your school in some certain cases you might be applying from a country different than your own country at that moment you will need to provide a proof of a legal status which is a certificate of legal residence in this country and in some cases a valid residence visa for this country can be also accepted you will also need to provide a proof of sufficient funds which is a bank statement stating your balance for at least six months the original bank statement must show your name and should be signed and stamped by the bank representatives and remember that cash will not be accepted as a proof of fund you should should also provide a flight reservation it could be an initial booking but in some minor cases you will need to provide a confirmed booking and remember that this flight reservation must include a return ticket so let me show you a short tutorial in how to book your flight and we will use this site skyscanner.net all right starting with our site this part is a little bit boring but we will see what we can do first you have to select what type of a flight you want a return flight like two ways going and returning or one way flight or multi-city and let me show you an option if you would like to change the language you can change it from here you can choose your language you can choose your country you can choose your currency whatever fits you all right so assuming that you have for example a travel plan you're moving between different cities so you can choose this multi-city option you can add different cities here and you can adjust your date, date of arrival date of departure and you can book all these tickets at once which is a very great option but let's just assume you are moving from only one city to another and you want to have a return of flight going and turning back so uh, assuming you are going from istanbul of course you can choose whatever you want if it's in istanbul or surat or whatever airport it is and returning 
what is your uh, destination where are you going you're going to uh, Delhi or you are going to uh, Tbilisi or, uh, or whatever Georgia sorry Georgia Tbilisi and here you will have to choose your departure date and here you'll have to choose your return date and here you have to choose your cabin class are you going on economy class premium economy business class first class or what and you're an adult okay you have any children with you all right and here okay now you can search flights once you click search flights all the flights will appear in front of you you can choose whatever flight you want you can go with the best or the cheapest or the fastest but it's almost the same here but of course the price will change depending on the destination and also it will change depending on the date so let's click this uh, flight for example and now will appear in front of us let's check the details of this flight and for this flight you can book it from different sites you can uh, book it directly from skyscanner or you can go to any of those sites to book it but yeah we will book it from skyscanner it is the cheapest anyway let's click book but wait before booking let's see the details of each flight okay it's a direct flight from istanbul to tbilisi and it's a direct flight from Tbilisi to Istanbul so by clicking on these arrows you can see the details of each uh, flight let's click book and here you can see the dates okay you're going departure okay going returning and the date and now click book so once you click booking your trip appears in front of you and the total price appears in euros why because they set their prices here in euro in sky scanner so now you can see the details okay you have one cabin page you have one checked page now let's click next and see more about the details and the checkout so in the end what you need to do is to add a contact details which is an email and a phone number and after that you will have to add a traveler which is your name your middle name your last name and in the end you will have to click bay and by clicking bay you can do your payment and congratulations you booked your flight you will also need to provide a proof of accommodation it could be a confirmed hotel reservation or an invitation from a host in this country or an invitation from an organization you are visiting in this country for a hotel or hostel an initial booking is acceptable but in some minor cases you might need to provide a confirmed booking and anyway the name of your hotel must be mentioned and the address and the contact number but in case you are invited by a person either the letter of invitation should be mailed directly directly to the embassy or to be submitted by you are combined by a copy of the passport of that inviting person there are different sites that you can use to book a hotel or a hostel but let me show you a fast tutorial how to book your hostel from booking.com so this is our site booking.com first you have to specify where are you going let's say i'm going to istanbul i want to have istanbul okay i'm traveling okay for example check in okay let's say at that date and check out let's say at that date and i want one adult one room and let's click search all right by clicking search okay they are giving me all the locations and they are giving me the price here in egyptian pound let's assume i would like to change my currency i will change my currency from here i will choose usd dollars and now the prices are here usd dollars for the full period those things in this side will help you for your choice you can filter by your budget or your popular filter or health and safety whatever interests you more star rating whatever it is but there is an interesting option here also that you can arrange all of these things depending on price if you are uh, a low budget traveling person so we can rearrange it according to price lowest first and let's see the price lowest first for the full period and you can see that we are having very good prices in somehow okay good quality also we can see also we can check 
for better quality okay still good price for very good quality let's check availability okay i like that one it looks old and only five beds left at this price so you are booking a bed in dormitory and one bunk bed see availability once you click see availability the whole apartment or the whole place appears in front of you you can see all the details of this place and you can here start choosing the availability like you can like change the dates and the most popular facilities here that non-smoking rooms free wi-fi 24 hours front desk terrace and heating also because sometimes istanbul gets very cold they are also giving you here some selections like for example bid in mail dormitory room and you can see all the details here like okay air conditioning free wi-fi shower toilet a heating hair dryer and of course if you want any other option like comfort double or twin room or classic double or twin room or standard travel room whatever you want but let's just go for the cheapest and select only one bed you can select of course more than one bed and they give you different things like free cancellations and no prepayment needed you can pay directly at the property so if you in case you would like to cancel it they are giving you a specific time and a specific date in that date till that date you are free to you can cancel this booking for free just click i will reserve once you click i will reserve here you are filling your details they are giving all the booking details it is for four nights and this uh, price is 35 dollars and here you will have to enter your details all your details and bid in mail dormitory room okay you'll have to give your full name and if you have any special request or something and also here give your arrival time so you have just to review all these parts and in the end you will click final details by clicking final details you will review again all your details and you will confirm your booking once your booking is confirmed you will receive an email in your email like that stating the check-in details as a check-out detail as a duration of a stay the phone number and the address of the place and all the details and this is the page that you will have to print and take with you to the embassy while applying for the visa many countries also especially the schengen area countries require you to provide a traveling insurance and you have to be careful and to apply through the companies that are accepted officially in these countries for example in case for schengen area countries there are some certain specifications for this travel insurance like the insurance coverage must be at least 30,000 euros and in general case you can apply for this insurance online now let's look together as a travel insurance company those are some travel insurance companies you can use any of those websites to apply for as a travel insurance but since i know that travel insurance is a little bit confusing for most of people i selected two companies and we will see together how to apply for travel insurance through those two companies applying for travel insurance is quite confusing for many people but here i selected the site europeinsurance.eu and let's see how to apply for travel insurance first you have to select your main destination in europe which is a selected france the start date the end date let's say you're just staying for one month and you want this insurance for one month and here you write your date of birth then get a quota okay so now there are two types of travel insurance the first one is basic and it costs 19 uh, the 19 euros per month and it covers more than 60 thousand euros which is required because for travel insurance you have to apply for something more than or equals to 30 thousand euros so i will select this one and here if you want to extend but just let's keep it like that for this basic one i will select it over here and now i will have to fill my details my the insured person my name and the policy holder also if it is the same person though the same also details my own details and important statements just some statements and in the end you will get 
to the payment. So this travel insurance, uh, which will cover more than 60,000 euros for one month, it's just only 19 euros. Let's check another site, which is axashengen.com, which is quite expensive uh, site. And here they give you different periods like for Schengen, low uh, cost, Schengen Europe travel, Schengen multi-trip, get a quote, okay, so for the prices here, okay, let's first you need to click get a quota over here for the cheapest one, okay, and here they will ask you the Schengen low cost um, they will ask you about the start date and the end date of your travel so my first date is this one all right 12 and my last date let's say will be 11th of april also for one month and this one for 31 days and it's a little bit it's not a little bit expensive it is expensive and it covers uh, only up to 30 thousand euros but you know the difference is sometimes about um the rate of the company and uh, also uh, the categories they are uh, covering in the travel insurance but here i'm just showing you how to oh, choose how how to apply because this is because choosing the category uh, the options is something depending on you but many people are just having some problems what is the travel insurance how to apply through the travel insurance so all these other details i will leave to you i'm just showing you how to apply through the site and what is the real cost uh, of the travel insurance by saying 30 southern hours we don't mean that you should have this balance in your bank or to prove that you have it because some people think uh, so those who are not really having experience with travel insurance then here you click continue and after you click continue you click here for the subscriptions you will have to fill all your details and after filling your details you will um, make your payment and in the end you will get a confirmation of your travel insurance and that's how you apply for travel insurance through this website so my question to you is what is your purpose of traveling to china are you traveling for work or study or tourism or what is your other purpose please write it in the comments down there maybe you can find other people who are interested in the same purpose and get to know each other